Hello everyone, I'm Ruffy1322 and welcome to the second round of the 2023 Carling Championship. This video is brought to you by you. Thank you so much for simply being here and enjoying my content. Please do leave a comment, like the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already for a chance to see your name here in a future video. So we've got two races once again and the first one is going to be highlights but we're going to watch the second race in full and that probably tells you how each race is going to go. So I qualified in 11th place for the first race which is a lot better than I have been doing so I was pretty pleased about that but you know you're still sort of in the mid pack and I was kind of out of position obviously argy bargy going on there so even though I lost a few positions I gained them back again but also the track is a little bit damp in some places so uh, it, it, it's it's tricky especially on the first lap when you've got carts sort of all over the place and there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to be in the place of the track that you want to be you know for the driest line or something like that so you've just kind of you know as it always is the case just try your best to, to go for it basically and, and be in the positions that you can be try to make up some places not lose too many places I ended up you know going from basically 11th place down to 14th place on the first lap which still isn't great that's something that I still need to, need to improve my first lap performance but at least I've qualified better this time so that that's 11th to 14th rather than in the previous round it would have been sort of 17th to 20th or something like that so I'm up there, there or thereabouts, and the, the the plan is to sort of try to fight from here. I'm still in the top half at least, and I, that happens a lot quicker than I anticipated because, as you might have saw on the first lap, there is it, there is a wet patch on the inside of the first corner, and a lot of people seem to get go into that and and go quite wide, and I basically make up three the three the three places that I lost uh, on that first lap just in one corner. So you know I'll take that and. For a while, that's basically all that happens. I end up catching up to someone who I, I felt quicker than, but I just couldn't find a way past. And I was behind him for maybe four or five laps, just trying to find a way through. And he, he was defending relatively well, but also I just I did, just didn't have that sort of that killer move that I was waiting for. But it was some good racing, um, and there was also someone just behind me as well. So there was basically three of us all sort of racing together we end up uh, he ends up overtaking this guy up the inside here and then that guy goes for a bit of a crazy lunge after that and, and it doesn't really work out because that then allows me to get the overspeed and get up in the inside of him so then we have you know the, again there was a decent little uh, battle I think there was either three or four of us involved in it for a while um, sort of trying to change positions and things like that we were fairly evenly matched in terms of lap time I'm obviously really close to this guy who I felt like I was quicker than for quite a while now and I noticed that he's a little bit on the inside where it's going to be a bit wet so I go for the uh, up the inside there because he was a little bit wide because of the the wet patch and I get up into ninth and it stays like that for a while as well you know I'm pretty happy in ninth um, I, I'm, I'm doing quite well and I think this is ultimately where I would have finished but then this happens and yeah, it was a pretty decent whack. Um, the guy who hit me into the tyres ended up coming to me at the end of the race and said, you know, asked if I was okay, which was nice, but that obviously lost me a lot of positions. I, I didn't get taken out there or anything. I, I, I think I must have gone a little bit wide and hit a wet patch myself and just snatched at the brake and, and you know, I couldn't control it because of the, the, the wet tyres at that point, but after going through all of that you know there was mud on my tires my tires were cold so it took me a few laps to um get the heat back in the tires and get back up to speed again so i lost a good you know 15 seconds on this lap as you'll see on the lap counter on the lap times on the right hand side i ended up losing another five seconds on the last lap as i was getting up to speed and if you take all of that time loss away from my ultimate finishing time i probably would have been able to keep that top 10 position but yeah a little mistake there and i was really frustrated with myself for, for making that mistake uh, dropping all the way down from 9th to 18th place I did manage to you know, make one more position as I caught up to a, a slower driver further on around the lap and run in the race, but uh, yeah, it, it wasn't the most ideal way to start the, the first race, especially considering I'd qualified better and I was racing in a better position as well than I'd done for a, a while. So, the, the, you know, you start your second race where you finish your first race, it would have been a lot better to be starting in the top 10, but as it is, 
I'm back in 17th again, which is where I've been mired in the first races or all the races so far since my return to the, the championship. So a, a bit of a crazy start to this race. As you can see, someone gets smashed off to the side there immediately. And I think the guy on the right there who did it ends up getting black flagged from this race. Um, so it, it, it was this whole race is a little bit crazy honestly it turns someone else around there because it doesn't basically give me any space and that's something that i've noticed a lot of the time i'm trying I, you, you might have seen me get hit in the back there as well um i'm trying not to hit people actively but it seems like that isn't always the case with everybody and and some people will just launch into a corner for example and uh you know come what may whatever happens so it's again just getting back used to that sort of thing again and uh and, and figuring out that sort of stuff and who you can race with and who who you might need to be a bit more careful of and, and things like that so uh, a perfect example of that is here coming up you know i know i knew someone was right behind me so i go to defend and he comes up the inside anyway ends up taking out the guy in front and yeah uh, thankfully i got away with that but it's it's not the the best thing that you want to see a very, very action-packed first lap though and both first laps have been pretty crazy in the first these both of these races uh so yeah i went from 17th to 13th in on the first lap in this one which is pretty decent and then it, it kind of stays like that for a while for this one and i'm i'm kind of you know i'm finding my speed a bit more now obviously like I, i've said in the previous episode it's been a while that i've been away from doing this and the, the rust is sort of it, it's coming off gradually but not all the way yet i'm still not racing at the front and after the last few rounds i guess y y you do start to wonder especially after that big mistake i made in the first race um and i don't know i still don't know exactly what happened because it didn't seem like my line in that corner was any more wide and on the wet patch than it, it previously was you know it could have been somebody else who went wide and brought a bit of a wet patch onto the track that otherwise wasn't there on the previous lap i don't know uh but you know especially after you make a mistake like that you know, the the confidence drains a little bit that you know can you still do it um after all this time but this is a race where basically i think by the end of it i, I finally had that belief that okay i can actually do this and i can race at the front if you know everything all sorts itself out and and, and uh, i get a decent card because obviously the cards are all different but it, it is possible i, I spy an opportunity here as uh, he goes up the inside I, I figure i can follow through and i managed to do that so up into 12th place and i guess one good thing that is, has, has been sort of a constant all the way through uh, that you know since i came back in these last three episodes has always been that i've been moving forward apart from that big mistake in the previous race you know even if my qualifying hasn't been great or, or something like that or if i've lost positions or whatever i've been making them back up again um i, I managed to uh, again take advantage of another overtake and, and be able to hang it out around the outside here which gave me the inside for the chicane so i got up into 11th there and that's something that i've been doing since i came back you know qualifying even if i qualified 17th or 18th and in that very first race uh, when I on, on my return I dropped all the way back to sort of 22nd place or something and I ended up finishing really high up and and, and that is something that I'm, I'm happy about you know I'm making places I'm able to I still have a bit of race craft and, and a bit of ability to keep pushing forward uh, it, it's just I, I feel like there's more there and I'm just not fully accessing it right now but when it comes to this point in this race, I wasn't really thinking much beyond, uh, you know, just trying to better my position. I'm, I'm obviously in 11th place. I was thinking maybe I can get into the top 10 at this point. But then I noticed that there was a massive train of carts in front. You might be able to see them as well as we as they go through the the first part of the hairpin. The yeah, the, the hairpin here. It it, it the, the, basically the entire pack of carts from first place to 11th is in front of me well first to 10th is in front of me and we're closing in on them they're all battling so the way that it uh, changes up is that the carts are reversed for the second race so basically the cart that won the previous race is at the back for this race and vice versa so the cart that finished last in the previous race the the person on pole position uh, gets that for the second race so 
what you tend to get is you know everything's always random anyway you know some cards are generally a little bit quicker than others and it's random who gets what card for qualifying and then subsequently the first race which we go into straight away but then that same thing happens for the second race but we don't have a qualifying before it so you might have people in the top five positions some of which have slow carts and people in sort of 15th 16th places who have very quick carts and they're going to be coming back through the pack and what happened in this race is that it seemed like just that everybody coalesced at the same time to the point where in the middle of the race so as we're seeing here there's just there's a what like five or six seconds separating the top 11 drivers um, I get a nice little sort of cut back here spy an opportunity up into the, uh, the the chicane so that's up into the top 10 which I was happy about but then I started to realize that well that is the top 10 you know <laughs> they're all right there it's not as if we've got the top five of scampered away and there's no way to get any extra positions they're all right there and I've been closing in and I feel relatively quick uh, you know the, the cart doesn't feel like it's it's a crazy good cart but it, it's it's obviously doing all right so then it was a case of sort of let's see how far i can get basically let's 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 see what we can do and it becomes a very interesting second half of the race where my my uh, old karting buddy callum cleeter you might know from uh, the the gfred video where i i did his line a few weeks ago he was in a particularly slow cart, but he started up in sort of fourth or fifth place or something for this second race. And he was basically just blocking everybody at that point. You know, he, he's obviously very good and he, he was defending quite well. So he I think the, the top sort of three carts managed to get ahead. Um, and they sort of, they, they did pull away, but not by a great deal. So it was, so, it was still close all the way to the end, but ultimately what we ended up having was a massive battle between about i don't know six or seven or eight carts all over fourth place which was kind of crazy and that's what is sort of bubbling under the surface right now as you can see we've got you know all of these carts all together and there's not an awful lot to choose between them because the, the, some of the maybe the some of the quicker guys in from the first race are in slightly slower carts and vice versa I end up uh, sort of also making a bit of a mistake in this race and I, I'm really annoyed with it. Uh, it's not, it, it was, to be honest, it's more of a mistake than the first race where I sm got smacked into a tire wall and I, I'm, I'm never going to make this mistake again. Um, I'll, I'll come on to it but obviously we got some yellow flags here at this point because someone else must have got smacked into that tire wall and they're replacing the barrier on the outside so it's nice to see everybody sort of slowing down at this point and actually um, you know adhering to those yellow flags which was good but um, yeah what, what the, the, mis the mistake I made in this one is that there was a guy behind me who came up behind me fairly quickly so ultimately what I thought was he's probably got a very quick cart you know uh, it's, uh, because he busy he wasn't there and then he was there so I just assumed that he had a quick cart in a straight line which it, when you when you're racing around and, and if, if there's a cart that's particularly good in the hands of somebody competent there's no point in really trying to to defend because you're just going to lose so much time especially if they're going to be able to come past you on the straights very easily obviously i'm getting you know even some of the carts in front of me are pulling away from me a little bit so i didn't feel like my cart was necessarily the best in a straight line but it was doing all right in the corners and this is where it's starting to hot up as well as you can see with all of these uh all of these carts in such close proximity um <laughs> and it felt really good to be in this battle by the way to be mixing it in with this massive pack of carts it felt good to be back you know racing at the front it, it might be only be in 10th place but first place is just around the corner so um yeah but th there was a guy behind me who he seemed really quick and i made the mistake of basically letting him pass and you'll see that happen at the the start of the next lap but I immediately noticed as soon as he got alongside me that his cart wasn't that much quicker than mine in a straight line so it was a mistake because by the end of the race he didn't get that much further ahead he did have a slightly quicker lap time but 
you know, it, it was it was just one of those silly mistakes where I thought someone was quicker than what they are, and in future, I'm just going to defend all the time. Uh, two guys get caught up in an incident there, so I managed to gain two places, and that's the sort of thing that was going to happen. This is where I let the guy go in front of me, and at this point, I realised that was a bad decision because he isn't much quicker than me than what at the end of the straight. So. I was really annoyed with myself for that and then I end up actually you know basically just sticking with him um, for, for quite a, a way further into the race as well and I felt like do you know what I probably could have kept him behind if I tried to um, there was a guy obviously tried to overtake me there on the inside but I managed to defend that quite well and, and yet yeah, again you can see this train of carts all battling over I think this is third place at the moment but it ends up being fourth place because one person manages to sort of get through yeah, but it, it was so much fun this was this is what i you know came back to do this for to be racing for these higher positions uh, and to be racing with you know people who aren't just gonna smash you out of the way or whatever like we might have seen in some of the other the races in the previous episodes it was relatively for most of the way at least in terms of my experience i was it was fairly clean i wasn't really getting hit too much or anything like that i felt again you know that's one of the difficulties i went straight into the back of him there because i was quicker in, around the final corner and again one of those moments where i was annoyed that i even let him past and i should never have done that so i'm going to remember that for next time by the way there are 12 laps in this race there were 14 laps in the previous race i, I think they just um you know corrected for having for, for mistaking me having an extra lap in the first race normally there are 13 laps in each one but this is the sort of thing that happens in these races when you've got so many people racing close by they went three wide into the the the, the first corner that that corner there um i managed to get one position um, by just placing myself well i think uh and yeah now i'm in eighth place i'm still having to you know defend on the inside there as you might have seen but it's 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 just this is fun you know this is what i want this is this is what i'm here to do to be racing in these kind of positions um and and having these kind of racing experiences and this was the first time where i had that belief that since i came back at least that i could actually you know maybe sneak a win at some point in one of the races i used to win races fairly regularly in the previous you know when i used to do this back in 2014 2015 um and this is the first race where since i came back where i thought okay i can probably I, I might be able to do that again if all the cards fall my way and by the end of the race actually i had exactly the same best lap uh, as the the winner of this race so that gave me even more belief that if you're just in the right place at the right time with the right cart and you, you're driving well enough which i'm getting closer to that point now i think it, it, a, a win is definitely possible and, and to hammer home the closeness of this the top 10 i think the top 11 drivers were all separated by one second in lap time and more all 10 of that top 11 were separated by half a second uh, and it was only you know callum cleat my friend who was in the really slow cart who uh, who unfortunately drew the short straw and was about half a second back on everybody else so that shows you how close it is and how close it can be and when it is really close like that in terms of lap time and, and everybody's really close my um, the, the fact that I've had some decent moves in terms of my race craft and stuff over the, the first few races and even this race is what's then gonna hopefully give me those extra positions when it is really close for lap time so still plenty to work on obviously but this was the first race where I had some belief and it's been really fun obviously I came from 17th and now I got up to 7th place as you saw someone got I think turned around uh, on at the uh, and the exit of the the hairpin on the previous lap so you know i'll take that and this is how close we are you know that's fourth fifth sixth right in front of me third and second are just ahead so close for racing i ended up seven seconds behind the leader uh, and and the, but there was a lot of people who were with <laughs> seven seconds behind the leader because the, i don't know about four or five people were all separated by one second at the line but i was only three seconds behind second place so again the first time where i've had a bit of belief it was a fun race it was fun to be racing up at the front again um and yeah although it ends in seventh place that 
doesn't tell the whole story because I had to come from 17th and I've generally been racing decently as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, trying to continue this upwards trend and, and see if I can, you know, get into those top five places next, I think. But that's pretty much it for this one. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed another real life racing episode and I'll see you next time.